Yeah, so like about the video that cut, I'll continue it. Um, so like about Kosher. Right, so leaders of, of um leaders of civil rights and ad, ad, advocacy groups said the law will give students a fuller history of the United States, promoting understanding and help children feel included in schools. So they want to push to teach about people who were gay and, tra and, and transsexuals in the past. Even though the technology for being a transsexual wasn't even around that long, or exposed to the public, they want to teach you about transgenders back, back, back in the days, you know, and all these different things, just to esteem that wickedness. But you know, they wouldn't teach you that, you know, majority of ancestors came here on a ship and only about 10% of them who was actually on the voyage actually reach. You come here naked on a boat. They used to rape your wives. They used to rape you sometimes. They used to feed your children to alligators. They wouldn't teach you that kind of stuff that actually happened. But you know what they'll teach you? They'll teach you it's okay to be a fag. That's the kind of things that they'll teach you. That is what I want to promote in this kingdom. Right? say our youth deserve to see how diverse american history truly is so that the diversity of american history they want to show them and not the dark side of the history that they just always try to hide and cover up all right let's see on how they can be a part of it one day two said said christian Fuscarino, Fuscarino, so like here. Christian Fuscarino, <coughs> executive director of the advocacy group Garden State Equality. Okay, see all this equality nonsense. People always like to turn to ESO when it, for when it comes to right and wrong and to determine what is just and unjust instead of actually turning to the one who created righteousness and wickedness, which is the Lord. He does never turn to the scriptures to see what is right. He does always listen to what Esau say. If Esau says this is how it's supposed to be, that's how it's supposed to be. If Esau says it's wrong, then it's wrong. And that is, that is who these people let's take a covering from. Let's take a covering up under Esau. Esau tell them it's right, so it's right. I see some crap about bullying and parental rights. But we know that these things, these things are just a part of it. It must come to pass, right? They say wickedness must increase. They say wickedness will increase until the end. And eventually, the men of the Lord who are actually teaching against these things, very soon they go be outlawed. They, they go have to stop because they have their agenda to promote and they don't want anybody speaking against their, their agenda. And already putting certain laws and certain you know things into place where that could no longer happen and when it's fully implemented we will can't speak against these things anymore people can speak they're actually given charges for people who speak against things like 9 11 saying that it was an inside job you understand already and truly in this world you're not free you're not free and very soon, we can speak about these things also. The further the get to actually establishing it is the harder they will be trying at the same time to cut people off from working against it. And that is where they're, they're, they're trying hard to implement the microchip. Because when the microchip fully implemented, then people will have less, people will have less say and less privileges. And that is exactly what Esau wants. To have them under this order, and to make sure that they follow it without any resistance. All right. Anyway, with that, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Racha Kudash, Double Honesty Apostles, and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel, and peace and salutation to the Akimrong the world that pushed this truth to the four corners of the earth. This is Yahweh from Eternal Camp saying Shalom, Akim, stay strong.